Real rain, acid rain. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> Sometimes I read way too deep into things. And some of y'all love that. Some of you are like, it's simpler. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. I got another one for you today and I'm excited to share it. We're going to check out Poets of the Fall and their song Carnival of Rust. Shout out today goes to Marcus Prusi. Thank you for your support, for being a patron, being part of this community. This band is from Finland, Helsinki, Finland. They are a Finnish rock band and um, yeah, that's about all that, I, that I'm seeing right now. Type of music, rock, dramatic goth tinged alt rock okay <laughs> i can't keep up with some of these subgenres in the music world sometimes uh and i feel like it keeps changing but it's awesome it's exciting anyways rock this song was viewed over 59 million views so most likely i'm going to be sharing it here on rosalie reacts time to bring some more rock i've been putting out quite some other uh, genres so why not some rock again um what to know about this song i don't know honestly i have no idea we're going to check out, we're going to talk about the lyrics after. Side note, Carnival is interesting, right? Because we all know Carnival. So I'm already, in, it's already interesting how they're going to twist that or what they're going to do. Um, rust is funny because rust, you know, we know what rust is on metal, right? When something gets rusty and old. But also rust makes me think of the European park, Rust, Europa Pike in Rust in Baden-Württemberg in Germany, which is, which is this theme park, this Carnival theme park, um, 18 themed areas of of themes um european countries represented several shows roller coasters hotels kind of like the the german the european version of disney world I like that guitar interlude. Do you breathe the name of your savior in your hour of need? Amazing voice. And taste the blame if the flavor should remind you of greed of the implication in sin. Okay, real quick, very interesting. Obviously, it fitting music video, the carnival, the clowns, the fortune teller, the coins, right? Uh, checking her hand, how many coins are left. That this female has this gas mask on is interesting. So a lot of symbolism, a lot of it. And uh, the lyrics are also very poetic. But interesting, which is fitting because these guys are called poets of the fall. Uh, interesting to think of it as autumn fall, leaves falling, but also something falling, right? Perhaps they deal with heavy topics, right? Dealing with humanity and struggle and suffering and entropy and gravity. I don't know <laughs> all the things I think of when I think of fall. But um, now in the chorus, it speaks of that love and feeling l missing or needing something, that love. Um, feed, feed the rain, Right? How do you feed the rain? Very poetic and interesting. Without your love, ain't my life ain't nothing but this carnival of rust. Right? Rust, metal decaying, turning brown, losing its value, breaking apart. Okay? So that in and of itself gives me more clarity where the song could be headed. But as with a lot of music and art, various ways to interpret it. Let's keep listening. <laughs> He has a great voice. I like this arrangement a lot. Ah. It's all a game, avoiding failure when true colors will bleed. All in 
Interesting to sing about feed the rain and I love the um the notes and the composition here the the guitar how it's carrying it the finger picking of the guitar how the song is building orchestra it was an orchestra to me it sounds like stringed instruments coming in the drums creating a, a level of climax and um emotion but his face it seems like almost like he's stuck in this cage this fortune teller clown figure stuck in a cage crying out right um awesome hook by the way la 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 da 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 um but his face looks all dried out and it's funny and fitting to think feed the rain right is that this idea of the make it rain right feed the rain whatever you feed will grow will be nurtured right so interesting or feed the rain as in give the rain something to feed on real rain acid rain okay <laughs> i'll stop <laughs> sometimes I read way too deep into things and some of y'all love that some of you are like it's simpler <laughs> but hey be like that sometimes <laughs> cause without you love my life ain't nothing but this carnival of rules yeah feed the rain cause I'm thirsty for your love dancing underneath the skies of The harmonies, guys. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Oh, when the world is burning. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Oh, when the heart is burning. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. to the scene with the moon the man of the moon what did it say on that note i couldn't quite read that oh what it said on that ticket coming out of the machine looked like it said cor cordis which can be translated as heart mind intellect sweetheart soul wow um wow <laughs> so phenomenal cinematography i mean they really just woo. Whoever does their cinematography work in production, amazing. Very eerie. Um, when it first started and just seeing that it was a rock band, I thought, okay, this is going to be really heavy, right? This type of rock where there's a lot of screaming and the rah. But it was very melodic. Like I said, the, the finger picking and the instrumentation of the guitar, the orchestra, the, the strings, the drums that build up, that created this crescendo and this these beautiful dynamics. And then his voice, Hakuna Matata, I really like the dynamics of his voice. Very amazing voice. Great control, wide range. Moments where there was almost that, that slight yodel, um, intentional, to then 
singing in harmonies to then reaching high notes to then having a rasp. Really well done. Really nice. A uh, lot of symbolism. I mean, from the woman with that mask, that gas mask, right? Something we would find if there's some type of toxic contamination. Uh, walking away with the doll and then dropping it and turning around. That ticket core cord is coming out of the of the um, machine. Him and the other band members looking all dried up like they're in desperate need of rain. Singing of feeding the rain. And so at first when it said, do you breathe the name of your savior in your hour of need? Taste the blame if the flavor should remind you of greed. I thought, hmm, what is this? Is this some play on, on religion, right? This idea of, of God, of crying out for help. And then the chorus when it spoke of without your love, my life ain't nothing but this carnival of rust. It made me think more of a love relationship. Someone walking away and telling this person without you, it's my life is meaningless. Rust is, like I said, decay, metal decaying. It loses its value. It breaks apart. It's feeble. It's not pretty. It's falling apart. But the beginning, just saying this idea of do you breathe the name of your Savior in your hour of need, and then later on ending with don't walk away when the world is burning, makes me wonder, is this this posing? And again, art, subjective, right? We can all interpret it different ways. But is this posing this question of what do you do when it gets rough, right? Do you walk away when the world is burning? If you are in need, do you cry out to your Savior, to your God? A taste you t and taste the blame if the flavor should remind you of greed, right? We're seeing these lollipops, this idea of carnival, right? We go to these theme parks to taste flavors, to experience fun, not only literally with the, the different vendors and cotton candy and ice cream and lollipops, but also we're looking for taste of pleasure, of fun, of adrenaline. Um, but here, this idea of and taste the blame if the flavor should remind you of greed, implications, insinuations, till you cannot lie still. And all this turmoil before red cape and foil come closing in for a kill. Hmm. Red cape as in how, right? As in like the, the, the wolf, right? Red riding hood. Red cape and foil. Hmm, interesting. Feed the rain because I'm thirsty for your love. Dancing underneath the skies of lust. Feed the rain because without your love, my life ain't nothing but this carnival of rust. This could also be looked at from a spiritual standpoint, right? This plea to God, since it speaks of Savior and sin and ill will, this idea of, of greed, blame, turmoil, perhaps saying I'm thirsty for your love as and I'm hungry for you, God, like in this world of, of lust, these skies of lust, right? We're surrounded by all these clowns and it's all about lust and rust. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, it's all a game, avoiding failure when true colors will bleed, also interesting, that can be looked at relationally, right? People often do play games in relationships, sometimes unintentionally. We're all trying to avoid failure. We know who really wants to fail, trying to make it happen. But the true colors will bleed. What is really underneath will show. That goes in relationships. That goes when it comes to faith, right? We search for answers. We search for truth, for God. And true colors will bleed, right? What is really fact versus fiction eventually will come to show. In the name of misbehavior and the things we don't need, I lust for after. No disaster can touch us anymore. Is this maybe this longing for a utopia, a place where disaster can't reach you, right? Which is many people's hope in the afterlife, right? A hope place where there's no more tears, no more pain. A longing for there being no more entropy, where there is no place for rust anymore because decay and death and disaster don't exist anymore. I hope to never fall where enough is not the same it was before. Feed the rain, I'm thirsty for your love. And then in the end, don't walk away when the world is burning. Uh, also made me think of this idea of pleading with a loved one, a lover, saying, please don't walk away when things get hard, when things are, when we're suffering or when there's distress and disaster. Could also be this plea towards God, right? Feed the rain, like just do something about it. I'm drying out over here. Literally, his face looks like it's drying out. <laughs> Um, yeah, if we look at some interpretations, let's talk about these, um, perceptive colors dot wordpress dot com. These lines in the first verse talk about the presence of God or a supernatural savior. We often rely on external power or pray for their help when we face something disastrous. Humans are prone to evil deeds, right? That's kind of what I was thinking earlier. This idea of we live in this world filled with lust and suffering worked with the music video too, right? These lustful men with their or people men and women with their animal -like masks um this woman walking around with her gas mask not being able to freely be herself not being able to freely breathe 
looking at her hand, how many coins do I have left, right? That kind of is maybe this nod to how we live life, trying to make it, you know, work, trying to survive, trying to make money, ma making it paycheck to paycheck, that type of life. The paragraph is blended extremely well with the visuals. The first line itself talks about Savior, how brilliantly Savior lines with the girl putting the coin and making the fortune teller alive. Oh, I like that interpretation. Well pointed out. Then he shows a star, which is a sign of hope and good omen. I could see that, yeah. A star, right? Like the star of David pointing the, the wise men to find the Savior, Jesus, in, in Bethlehem. Like this idea of something being guided, right? People look to the stars, astrology, for answers. The girl is lured towards an act of greed where she can break for freedom, brilliantly covered with following lines of implication, insinuation, and ill will till you cannot lie still. And all this turmoil, which is interesting. When we engage in that type of lifestyle, we get to a point where we can't lie still. We either have to numb it out because we know what we're doing is wrong, or we can't lie still. We're restless, right? Those We, we sometimes ask ourselves about those who've done horrible things. How can you sleep at night, right? How can you be peaceful about it? Um, so she's being lured into this game, right? This man calling her in who has the doll in his hand. And then that's interesting too, because she walks away with that doll at the end, almost like she's leaving the carnival with the prize. But the question would be, and before I keep looking at this, my thought would be she's walking away with a doll, not a real baby, right? No, there's no life in this thing. It's a doll. It's lifeless. It's a... It's what we could be looked at as a reward. Hey, you want something, right? Be happy. But when you are lured into that misbehavior and the mischief and the, the seduction, you end up harvesting death. When you sow death, you harvest death. When you sow life, you harvest life. And then, of course, a lot of crap can happen in between. <laughs> it's not all black and white. But you get my point. Overall, right, you do what's right. You try to make good choices. A lot of good will come out of it. And I'm not speaking for those situations where ish just happens. There's a lot of things we can't control. Bad things happen to good people and vice versa. But I'm just talking about generally there are consequences for our actions. And if we keep making bad decisions, something's, something bad's going to happen more likely. And if we surround ourselves with good people and we're trying to make good choices, there's going to hopefully be a better benefit that comes out of that. So it's to me, it could almost be interpreted as you're being lured into this type of world of money and lust and greed. You're You're not able to freely breathe, be yourself. You're wearing this mask, right? We also can't see this girl's face. It could be any one of us. And then to walk away with that prize of a lifeless doll, right? A fake idol, not life-giving, not joy-giving. You play with it for a little while and then you get bored till you want something else, right? Greed. It's not something that can really, that's nothing that's sustainable. So there's interesting symbolism there. And then for him to call her before the machine shuts off, right? The fortune teller, right? Maybe this savior, maybe this voice, God, our conscience reaching out saying, don't walk away when the world is burning. Like, could also be looked at from a humanitarian standpoint and from a standpoint of taking care of this planet, right? Rust means all this metal, all these man-made things that are decaying. We find it all over the world. It's bleeding into our waters and into our ground, the chemicals of all the trash we create and put under this globe and maybe saying don't walk away when the world is burning is also this idea of you're here you've entertained yourself right you've walked the carnival you've consumed and you've taken don't walk away when the world is burning pay attention to what's going on around you with the globe with humanity with people with nature let's go uh, see what else they have to say here the course pushes her to go and give the coins to the place she wants to she should feed the rain Ah, that could also be looked at in the sense of make it rain, like money, right? Feed the rain, keep giving your money, keep buying, consume. Sharpen their will to live. They're waiting for some movement and pour of love to enliven them. He expects her to show some humane love and try to feed them from this carnival of rust. Okay, also interesting, right? Feed the rain. Like, I can't live without you, which he says in the chorus, right? It's like a person longing for love, drying out, thirsty, saying feed the rain you know put your coin in here right this fortune teller who at the end falls asleep calling out to her saying please do something feed the rain give me your money may bring me back to life um show me some love and that's also very interesting because that's what people long for you know i see it in the comments here all the time where you could have people that are some of it i don't know if it's bots and trolls and just you know the system i wouldn't be surprised if some of it wasn't even real people behind real screens 
Um, but then there are also people out there, real people behind real screens, just commenting away. And some of the comments, most of them are fine, but sometimes the comments are so like, what, what? And I, it's, I have to keep reminding myself, these are people hurting, um, looking for love for to be seen, right? Even if they're doing it in a way like a childhood through bad behavior, right? Let me do something rebellious to get her attention. Different ways to look at that. It's all a game avoiding failure when true colors will bleed and in the name of misbehavior and the things we don't need. need. Life is and the commenter here says, the interpretation says, life has become a mere game of avoiding failure. When a person fails, their true colors come out and it, a result in misbehavior. Interesting. Just all kinds of ways. I'm not going to read through the whole thing. There's a whole list of different ways to interpret the various verses. Lots of poetry here. Very well poetic written song. Very impressive songwriting in my opinion. Poets of the Fall. Phenomenal voice. And uh, amazing cinematography. I'm pretty impressed. I'm very impressed. What do you think? Subscribe, comment below, and stay tuned for more. See you on the next ride. Heyo! Hey